So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how we can create a beer glass model using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial first of all we need one reference images from where we can create a beer glass so for that what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to import one uh, image as a plane basically and if you not found this option import image as a plane so you have to just go to edit preference and here you have to just search the image and you will get this add-on basically you have to just click from the here and after that you will get the same option which is the i'm getting right now so i'm just going to import image as a plane and after that i'm just going to search my image and this is my image by the way so i'm just going to click this image okay let me just go to my download and i'm just going to search this and this is my image i'm just going to importing and it is look something like that first of all what we have to do basically we have to just uh okay so we have to just decrease the uh specular and increase the roughness basically so now it will look something like that now we'll uh, model this glass so for that what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one uh, cylinder here for adding the cylinder i'm just going to press the shift a and after that uh, first of all what we have to do basically we have to just rotate this uh, image something like that i think that's enough make sure it should be proper 90 yeah that's fine then after that i'm just going to my front view yeah it is look nice by the way now i'm just going to add one uh, cylinder and i'm just going to scale my cylinder something like that and what we can do basically we can enable our x-ray mode okay if we want something like that yeah so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna keep it here i'm just gonna scale it something like that yeah i think that much scale is look nice to me right now and yeah, that is enough after that i'm just gonna edit mode of my cylinder i'm just gonna extrude it till here and i'm just gonna like scale it something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me yeah yeah it does look nice okay after that i'm just gonna add some as loop here at least i need uh, four as loop then i'm just gonna select my all as loop i'm just gonna press the s to scale something like that make sure it should be scale from the every angle properly yeah that's look great by the way this is something which is we are looking right now yeah cool same thing we'll just select this one and i'm gonna extrude it something like that we'll add some other as loop here also like we need at least three for a more smooth transitions yeah yeah basically smooth shapes basically yeah all are looking good to go yeah this is look nice by the way what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna little bit inside scale it down yeah this is look nice now i'm just gonna select my this bottom one and make sure it should be here and scale it yeah now again i'm just gonna extrude it on a z axis then scale it again i'm just gonna extrude it on a z axis and scale it and again i'm just gonna extrude it and scale it something like that and again i'm just gonna do e uh then after that i'm okay and after that again i'm just gonna press the e then i'm just gonna right click and scale it something like that again e right click and scale it then extrude yeah then i'm just gonna press the uh f3 and here i'm just gonna press the grid fill make sure you just select all the edges f3 and and just to grid fill but basically there is no loops are here so what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to extrude it scale it and i'm just going to press the f i think this is look something like that and this is good to go by the way now after that here you can see we have a our beer glass model now we have to add some smoothness for adding the smoothness i'm just going to use the subdivision surface modifier and here you can see when i'm just add the subdivision surface modifier it is looking something like that that is look good by the way but we have to just add the auto smooth first of all and also we have to fix some uh basically 
edges like where we need uh, some support edge same we need here a supportive edge not that much but yeah we need it same here we need some supporting edge and here we also need some supporting edge yeah and also here we need some supporting edge and here also we need some supporting edge i think all supporting edge are looking nice here we need also supporting edge yeah that's look and here also all right guys and here you can see now our glasses look more smooth and perfect also we can increase the level of smoothness and here we need some a little bit uh, smoothness so we can just increase the gap between the basically meshes yeah something like that now here you can see we have a good smoothness here then we have to just move it little bit upside yeah now everything is look, look good to go all right guys now here you can see this is look awesome and one more thing we have to do it basically from the uh bottom side uh, not bottom side basically from the top side we have to just add it yeah i think that's looking enough and we can also select the top face and i'll just do i insert it it is enough right now okay now here you can see everything is look look good to go i'm just gonna unhide everything and again here you can see uh we have a perfect glass here now it's time to add a like a texture on the glass so what i'm gonna do basically for adding the texture first of all i'm just gonna like uh, here you can see if i'm just gonna show you here just wait a second here you can see we have a beard till here so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a multiple uh like a shader for one objects so for that what i'm gonna do first of all i'm just gonna create a uh, one materials and second i'm just gonna create a only where by the way only here i'm just gonna press the control plus yeah that is enough i'm just gonna enable my x-ray mode i'm just gonna select the rest of the files which is our left yeah and uh, we can increase this that's enough and i'm just gonna apply and assign now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my front view and uh, i'll just uh, split my screen and i'm just gonna my uh, shader editor yeah we can say basically we can go our uv editor okay but first of all i'll just go to my shader editor and what i'm gonna do okay after that i'm just gonna add one image texture i'm just gonna search your image image texture and i'll just plug this here to here so it will look something like that but there is no issue i'm just gonna select that reference image which is i have uh take as a reference all right then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my edit mode of my um what we can say basically glass and i'm just gonna select my upper mesh from here and i'll just do you and i will do just to okay and i'll just do you and i'll do project from the view now here you can see it will look something like that now what we have to do first of all i'm just gonna hide my uh, reference images and here you can see it does look something like that now what we can do basically i'm just gonna switch this shader editor as a uv editor and i'm just gonna edit the mode of this uh, glass okay here you can see this looks something like that i'm just gonna select all the uvs i'm just gonna scale it first of all okay and uh, then i'm just gonna move it and keep it here okay this is look nice by the way and after that what we can do basically uh what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select my all messages and let's do you and i'll do project from the view i think this is look nice this is like more uh, uh looking more lively yeah now it's fine now we can just scale a little bit yeah something like that and we can move it and keep it here we go now here you can see all right guys now here you can see we have a beer with the physically we have a glass with the beer okay now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create some extra mess from the top side so we can also add these texture here 
so for that what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select this one and I'll just uh, insert pressing the I again I'll just press insert and insert now I'll just go to my front view I can select some of the basically vertices okay what we can say yeah some of the vertices from here from here from here from here from here and from here also and I'm just going a little bit upside and here we go this is look awesome by the way now we can deselect some of them and do a little bit upside again deselect some of them okay let me enable the extreme mode yeah this is look awesome we can select some of manually okay yeah awesome now here you can see this is look nice now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select my bottom material which is i have already created and i'll just add a glass texture on it so for that we can what we can do basically i'll just change as a pencil bsdf to glass bsdf and it is almost look like a glass we'll just change the ior value 1.333 this is the glass ior value and we'll just decrease the roughness okay everything is look good to go from my end now what we can do we can just keep it here from the top side okay i'll just add one uh, plane here and after that i'm just gonna extrude it all right then after that here you can see basically we have a uh, created one ramp here then now what i'm gonna do i'll just add a little bit uh, glossiness into our glass also so it will uh give a feel as a glass yeah i think this is look nice to me okay everything is look nice to me now what i'm gonna do basically i'm just gonna uh, add one uh, sdr into our scene so for that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go into my rendering mode then after that i'm just gonna change my uh editor time menu as a shade editor and here you can see uh, we have already changed uh, uh, as an object to world and here i'm just going to add one sdri so i'm just going to press the control t okay and after that i'm just going to add one sdri here so i have already downloaded some of the sdri i'm just going to select this sdri yeah this is look nice to, good to go and after that what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to change my render as a ev2 cycle yeah this is look awesome by the way now here you can see and we can just little bit decrease the glossiness basically increase the glossiness yeah i think this is look nice and now here you can see this is look awesome by the way now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna give some good background color from the behind so for that what i'm gonna do basically i'm just select my ramp and i'll just give a good color i think this is look awesome and i'm just gonna little bit upside so we get a good glass feel also so now here you can see guys we have successfully created one beer glass and which is look nice by the way now you can use this beer glass as a background anywhere and into uh, any scenes also and it is look nice by the way we can change the color as like so. yeah we can use any kind of color and this is look nice by the way all right here you can see this will look awesome and that's how you can create uh, any kind of low poly beer glass for your scenes for your assets like a uh, props all right and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today so if you learn something new today please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe to my channel also if you have any queries if you have session, please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys